In my previous video that covered various access methods to the car, I showed the key fob and the normal button usage. Double click the front button to open, click and double click the middle button to lock and unlock, and then finally double click the trunk button to open. Here I'll show the example of double clicking on the trunk button, and now it opens. There is, however, one hidden key fob feature, and I'll show you how that works. Press and hold the trunk button down for a few seconds. That releases the charge port door. Unfortunately, pressing the trunk button again does not close the charge port door. This works if the car is unlocked or locked. I'll lock the car now to show you. Press and hold the trunk button, and then it opens. By the way, if you press the lock button, it will close the charge port door. Oddly, if the car is already locked, pressing the lock button again doesn't close the charge port door. Inside the car, does it work when the car is in drive? I do a long hold on the trunk button. No, it doesn't just like it's supposed to for safety. I was curious to see if the other key fob buttons work while the car is in drive. Here I am in reverse, but stopped. I press the lock button once and the car locks. I press the lock button twice and the car unlocks. Let's try the front button twice to open. No, it does not open. How about the trunk? I press that button twice, and yes, it does open. Now, how about while the car is moving? In this case, only one mile per hour, but it's still moving. I double click the trunk button, but now it does not open. Definitely a safety feature. I also did the same for the front, but since it didn't work while stopped, it of course doesn't while moving. And for the final test, Yes, pressing the lock and unlock will work while the car is moving. There was another hidden feature that used to work for the Model S and X cars, and this was holding down the lock button for a few seconds. That would lower the windows. However, in an update, that feature stopped working. It would be nice to have that back again. As for the reason why it was removed, maybe it was accidentally pressed and people got their cars soaked if it was raining. I couldn't find a definitive reason why it was removed. One more comment about the key fob. They are water resistant but not waterproof. Exposure to heavy rain or water submersion may damage the key fob. So be careful and don't leave it in your pocket when you do the laundry. If you know of any other hidden features on the Model 3 key fob, post them below in the comments section. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.